everyone. So someone recently uh, heard us talking about how much we like books and reading and that we have deliveries coming to our house. And they said, hey, do you guys really read as much as you talk about? And I want to uh, share two things, how much we read and why we do it. So in the last few weeks, here's just a sample of the books that, uh, that we have coming our way. And you see it's a whole bunch of different kind of books. This one's by Eric Schmidt, the guy who uh, took Google and made them huge. This one's just in it. It's, it's his vision of the future of the internet and where we're all going with all this stuff. I'm taking this one to Las Vegas with me actually tomorrow. I'm going to read that by the pool. Then there's Rich Food, Poor Food, so we're reading about food. Um, a Guide to the Good Life, The Ancient Art of Stoic Joy. That's another one that just came in. This is one, uh, Marvel Comics, The Untold Story. This is how Marvel Comics started. So we love reading about business people who start businesses. Um, there's so many lessons in here. Even though we're not in the comic business, we can take lessons from here and apply it to our business. And then I want to show you two things. There's this great book, Trust Me, I'm Lying. This is about... Um, a marketing executive for American Apparel who did a lot of pro provocative um, marketing, he exposes how he manipulates the media. It's fantastic. Every business owner, if you're buying advertising, you need to read this book. But more importantly, right in the middle of this book here, he shares how he studies history and how throughout history he learned how the newspapers did a lot of manipulation, how people manipulated the newspapers back uh, about 150 years ago. And he's using the same principles from uh, like 1850 today just with two different media, blogs. So really valuable, but there's a key principle there how um, you know, the things that worked 150 years ago work today. It might just be in slightly different um, tactics, but the principles never change. Everybody wins the story and lessons behind Remax, so we're a brokerage, so we're reading about uh, how other businesses started, even though we don't follow the Remax model. Could be good lessons in, so we read that stuff. This is a new book that came recommended. I'm not sure about this one yet. Uh, Man 2.0, Engineering the Alpha, so that's another one that's come in. Then we have all these newsletters that we read. So this is a stockpile of newsletters that come into us and all these newsletters, some of them come with audio CDs that we listen to um, as well. And then on my iPhone, which is being used to take this video so I can't show you, we have an Audible app and on the Audible app, on my new car, I realized that it's Bluetooth connected. So on my Audible app, I can download books, play them. And when I'm in the car, it plays over the speaker. So it's beautiful. So we're doing a lot of that now. And uh, the latest one, I was just explaining to Kayla here that uh, the latest one I'm listening to is the, uh, the, the, the 50th Law or the 50th Law of Power. Um, Robert Greene, I believe, is the author. And it's about 50 Cent, the rapper. And uh, Kayla had a reaction when I said that, that I was reading this book. But the reason I'm reading that book is because this guy, 50 Cent, Curtis whatever his last name, his real last name is, um, he's a smart business guy. So we're, you know, there's a lot of lessons that we can learn from other areas and take them into our business. So that's why we do all this reading. We look at reading as the opportunity to get new ideas. It's kind of like feeding our brains. And even though some of this stuff might not be applicable to us day to day, it might change our thought process. And, and sometimes when you're in stressful situations, reading about how other people get through stressful situations, overcome obstacles, it's hugely valuable. Whenever we're stressed out, in, in our lives and in, 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 our, in our business, we find it's often because we've let the reading go a little bit. So we love to read. We always have books coming in, newsletters coming in. We pay for newsletters. And it's something I'm going to pass down to my kids. In this age of instant media and you know 140 uh, terabyte tw uh, character tweets, we think the real value and the people who are going to create real value in your life and, and, and for yourself, you can do a lot of good by reading books. Um, just there's, there's so, much, uh, so much value in there. Um, there was one other thing that I was going to uh, to share about the books, and it's kind of slipped slipped my mind. I'm sure I'll come it'll come to me, um, but I'll share that on another Rockstar minute. So we just wanted to give you an idea. And one last thing, actually, come with me, Kayla. Can you come on down down here? I just want to show you. So you're going to see um, my office here. It's more like a disaster. But what I wanted to show you is in here, Kayla, I don't know if you can see this stuff, but these are all past newsletters that we keep. These are all newsletters. These are all audio CDs and audio programs that we have coming in. These books that you see here, this is the overflow from my house. So I have more boxes of books that I need to bring here. But my wife has, uh, we have books and nice bookcases in our house. But when I kind of fill those up, I need to bring them in here. So I start stockpiling the books in here. So we're literally kind of swimming in this stuff. We look at reading as just a, a critical part of our own personal development and our own personal development, we highly recommend uh, if you're if you're you know if you're building your own business, real estate investing, whatever you're doing, you uh, you jump on the reading bandwagon. So that's it. Until next time, your life, your terms.